If you're currently in the interview process and you have been asked to go into a meet the team interview, well, congratulations, you're just about across that finish line. As a former hiring manager, I can tell you it takes a lot of effort and resources to pull everybody off of their projects to sit down and meet with a potential team member, even if it's for 20 or 30 minutes. And so this is not something that hiring managers will do with every applicant out there. It's usually reserved for the final one or two applicants. My name is Bill Benoist. I'm a certified professional career coach here in Silicon Valley. And in today's video, what I want to share with you are six tips that are going to help you cross the finish line for that meet the team interview. So the first tip really is going to be based upon whether this is a Zoom interview or a video interview uh, with the team members or if it's going to be in person because nowadays you never know what's going to happen as far as you know the process. There are some companies they're bringing all their employees back, other companies they're working from home still. So if this is a video interview, say a Zoom interview, I want you to keep in mind that you need that camera to be at eye level. You don't want to be looking down at the camera because that means that they're going to be looking up at your nose. Number two, keep that camera about 18 to 24 inches from you. You don't want to be sitting so far back that you are creating this impression that you're not really approachable. And you don't want to be too close to the camera because, well, that's just kind of weird. And then finally, I want to make sure that you're smiling, especially, this is so tr especially important when you're first connecting with that group. So as everybody is connecting, what you can do is give a nice smile and even a wave and just sit there and say, hello everyone, it's great to meet you. Okay, it's just, it's really going to bring that connectedness into the picture right away because keep in mind, connection or not connections but keep in mind first impressions are being made within the first couple of seconds of meeting an individual so let's move on to if this is an in-person uh, interview meet the team interview again you're walking in be very conscious of how you're holding your body you don't want to be holding yourself tight you want to be loose and open going in. It's very important that you are smiling as you're first approaching in. And again, what I want you to do is just sit there and say a simple hello. It's great to meet you. I'm so excited about being here. I'm excited about meeting you guys. Okay. Do you just need to create that first impression within those first couple of seconds? Now, second tip and that is make sure that you're doing your research. If this is at all possible, and I really encourage you to try and get this um, information beforehand, that hiring manager says, hey, I'm gonna schedule you with Meet the Team. Come back and say, hey, that's great. Can you give me um, some information as to who it will be that I'm meeting with? Take those names and bring them up on LinkedIn. See if there's any connections that you have, anything in common that you have with those individuals out there. So maybe it's a school that you both attended, or maybe there's another connection out there. And this is a great another way of bonding with that individual. Hey, Joe, it's great to meet you. You know, I was looking at your LinkedIn profile, and I noticed that we both went to uh, San Jose State University, or we both know so-and-so out there. And you know, talk about a small world. It's a really great way of connecting with that individual. Now, there's another part of what I mean by researching, and that is, well, researching what is it that you're going to be asking? What kind of questions? Research those questions out there. So some good questions to be asking is, you know, talk about or ask about what kind of software and applications that they may be using on the team. Uh, how do they communicate with other departments? What is the management style of the organization? What is the management style of the department? What is it that they like about working for this company? These are all great questions out there. So that's tip number two. Do your research, do your planning. Tip number three is you want to talk about some of your accomplishments when they ask you any type of behavioral type of questions, but this is really important. I think this is where some people 
will really make the mistake. You don't want to go over the top. These are your, these are going to be your workmates. And by the way, don't ever call them, you know, a mate or something like that during the interview process. You haven't been hired yet, but they are going to be the team members that you work with. And you don't want to alienate them by coming up across superior, but you do want to talk about some of your accomplishments out there. So watch that line because I think a lot of people, they do overdo it when they're talking about their accomplishments. All right, tip number four is you got to listen really carefully to what they're saying, what they're asking about. And this is where I think it's super important to make sure that you're using their names, you're listening to what they're saying. And then when you're coming back to ask them further questions about this, you're using their name. You're looking at them, direct eye contact, whether it's through that video camera or in person. But I want you to go back to them and say, well, Joe, let me ask you, what do you think about this then? Or Sue, what do you think about that? Make sure that you're listening, active listening. Don't be forming that next question in your mind. Listen to what they have to say and then use their names to respond back to them. It's really, again, it's going to bring that connection closer. And that's what you want to do. You want to this, this bonding that, yeah, this person will definitely be a great fit on the team. And then finally, remember this, always be a professional. When the cat's away, the mice will play. I think, you know, the cat being the boss there. And sometimes people will go ahead and relax, but you gotta be careful that you don't fall into this trap and get too relaxed with them as well, because that could be actually a ploy to see how you are, you know, outside of the element with the boss. So really what you wanna convey is this, that you are a professional, that you have no problems, that you're gonna create no problems, and you're gonna help them solve their problems. That is what you wanna portray out there. So don't get caught in that trap that sometimes can happen when the boss is away and it becomes a little bit uh, too relaxed in that meeting. So anyway, six tips there to help you cross that finish line. Congratulations if you've gotten this far. I'm really excited for you. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, make sure that you do so. Hit that bell notification as I do upload new career tips and strategies every Tuesday, and I'd hate for you to miss anything. Thanks for stopping by, and I look forward to seeing you next week.